from Congressman John Conyers. Uh, this is a bill that you have co-sponsored as a U.S. Senator. Yet, this has, despite the fact that this has been, certain similar commissions have been uh, created on the state level and on the local level, is yet to pass in Congress, let alone come out of committee. Congresswoman Jackson Lee, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, and other advocates have called for President Biden to take executive action to to take to create this commission. Would you, as president, take executive action to create this commission, or do you believe that it should happen in Congress? Well, first of all, I just as you mentioned, Sheila Jackson Lee, she was an extraordinary leader who we just recently lost, and um, and she was a friend and. Um, a real champion for so many issues, so I feel compelled to say that about her. On the issue of um, what we need to do going forward, look, it, first of all, we just need to speak truth about history in spite of the fact that some people are trying to erase history and try and teach our children otherwise. We need to speak truth about the generational impact of our history in terms of the generational impact of slavery, the generational impact of, of, of redlining, of Jim Crow law. I could go on and on and on. These are facts that have had impact. Um, and we need, to, we need to speak truth about it. And we need to speak truth about it in a way that is about deriving solutions. And Frankly, I think that we, you know, and part of that is, is studying it to figure out exactly what we need to do. But part of what we can do right now is, for example, what I'm talking about in terms of building an opportunity economy, which is addressing explicitly the obstacles that historically and currently exist and dealing with them. Student loan debt, medical debt, um, bias in home appraisals what we need to do in terms of dealing with an issue that I have championed for years, um, black maternal mortality, which is the fact that black women are three to four times more likely to die in connection with childbirth than other women. And we know that the reasons for that include disparities that pre-exist her pregnancy, including disparities that exist in the system during her pregnancy. So all of those things must be addressed. Do you have a position on whether that should happen, this commission should happen through executive order or via Congress? I, th I think Congress ultimately will have the ability to do this work. Um, I'm not discounting the importance of, of any executive action, but ultimately Congress. Because if you're going to talk about it in any substantial way, there will be hearings, there will be um, a level of public education and dialogue that... And I think that was part of the, the spirit behind the congressional action thus far, to ensure that everyone can participate in this conversation in a way that elevates um, knowledge about history and the reference points that have, um, that are the impetus of this conversation. Okay. Especially, again, when people are trying to deny history. When people are, you know, so-called leaders are saying that enslaved people benefited from slavery. I mean, let's talk about the delta here in terms of the work that needs to be done. It's profound. Madam Vice President, I want to move to... Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. Uh, I will, first, before I start this video, I'm going to give a shout out to Auntie Talks on TikTok for this video. So... Kamala Harris has finally talks about reparations and again she ignores or sideswiping the question whether in other words foundational black American deserves or gets reparations and she they asked you can and one of the reporters asked her like what about can you do executive action and you say, well I'll I'll do the Congress Congress have to do all of that ma'am you're the vice president you have the power to sign an executive order to get reparations for you know foundational black americans by cash payments she still ignored the question she still didn't answer the questions that you know she's supposed to answer and so i'm very disappointed because this is the same national um you know, um, National American of Black Journalists, NABJ, 
who grilled Donald Trump in their interview, but being easy on Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris's in her interview. And the, and so now we know that Kamala Harris ain't gonna do nothing about reparations. Plain and simple. She tried to use, well, you know, women will come childbirth and blah, 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 blah. But you didn't answer the question. Do you support reparations? Do you want to sign an executive uh, action on reparations or no? Yes or no? She tried to she tried to ignore or side swipe the question. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Um, an airplane flew by. So it's really interesting that now she wants, you know, people talk, I'm talking about, well, you, you know, Kamala talking about, about black women and childbirth and blah, blah, blah. And you're still not answering the question. Do you or going to do something with reparations with H.R. 40? And you see you, now, you know, the answer. She's not going to do a damn thing. She ain't going to do nothing. Same old Kamala Harris. But yet some blacks voters are still going to vote for her. But ignore the issues that we want to talk about. How about reparations? How about um, passing the anti-black hate crime help hate crime bill? And you still can sign an executive order for that as well. But they but they decided not to do it, which is shameful. And it, it, black people should black voters should see Kamala Harris for what she is. But they're gonna vote for her because she's a black woman, which realistically she ain't. Let me know what you think about this in the comments.